A full tutorial on how to run ChatGPT-like language models locally on your computer. We're going to be using Llama and Alpaca. It looks like this right here. Now on the left side of the screen, you see what looks like a ChatGPT-ish window. It's the format for inserting text and receiving a prompt back. Now on the right side of my screen, you're going to look at the exact same thing, but this one is in Python code, and this is the code we actually need to run through the command prompt prompt on our computer locally in order to have this language model running on our computer. But don't worry, this is all much easier than it looks. You don't need to know how to code at all. That's why this tutorial is here. So open another window and I'm going to run you through everything you need to get this going in under 10 minutes. First thing is first, we're going to need to install some prerequisites that will allow this to actually run and function properly on your computer. All this is free, and this is put together in a way that you should be able to close this tab and just hear it and follow along with the instructions. So all of the links are down in the description below, but the first thing we need is Visual Studio Code. That'll be link number one in the description. When you go here very easily, just click on the Community Free Download. Now, now this download may take 10 to 15 minutes, but do not interrupt the process while it's downloading or it could seriously mess things up later on down the line. Just let it run. Now in link number two, we're going to see Python. Now Python is the coding language that we're actually going to use to run this service. Again, it's completely free. It's link number two in the description. Just go and then click on download Python 3.11.3, or if you're watching this video later on down the line, just download the latest version version from the big shiny button in the middle of the screen. Now the third and final thing we're going to need is Node.js. Again, there's a lot to look at here, but it's very simple. This will be link number three down in the description. You're going to go and just click on Windows Installer. Now all of this is possible on Mac and say like A code or X code, but I do not have a Mac, so I am doing a Windows tutorial as well. But I can't believe that they're that different. So click the downloader for your operating system and we'll move on to the next step. At this point with all three of those packages downloaded, we're ready to actually install Dalai Alpaca and Dalai Lama on our computer. To do that, we're going to go in and open our command prompt. So you can go open your Windows search, just type in CMD and it'll give you this right here. Now this is just a generic screen that you've probably never seen before in your life and you may be intimidated intimidated by that, but do not worry, I'm going to give you the exact prompts that we need to put in right here. So the first thing is we're actually going to install Alpaca. So we're going to type npx and that's just going to give it the command or let it know what type of command we're wanting to do. And then we want the Dalai package, so npx Dalai, and then we're going to go Alpaca install 7b. So this is basically saying that we want to install under a Dalai package the alpaca insert or prompt if you will and we're wanting to install 7b and 7b is the model that we're installing. That means 7 billion parameters and these are basically the parameters that our language model or our chatbot is going to have access to in order to give us responses. To give you an idea the newest the, the brand new chat GPT-4 or GPT-4 has around 60 billion parameters. Now there is other models of this you can install. If you are wanting to um, install the 13 billion parameters, you definitely can do that. Um, just understand that once you hit the 13, you're looking at right around 20 to 30 gigabytes for an install. So we're just going to do npx dalai alpaca install. Now, while you're running that install, you may get a lot of things that look like error messages, but do not worry, it's going to spit out hundreds of lines of code and it's going to go through and work out most of those error messages by itself, at least the ones that will affect functionality. You'll end up seeing a loading bar like this one, and once you've reached that point, you know you're good. When that loading bar completes, we will be back to a screen that looks like the initial one. Once Alpaca has completed installing and you're back to this prompt right here where it just says users we can go ahead and install the next thing that we need so we're going to start it out with npx dalai like we did last time but instead of alpaca we're going to do llama 
install 7b and again here you can do 7b you can do 13b um, I'm just doing 7b because even at that this whole thing took about 40 minutes to install so it does take a very long time to download install and then get its functionality running correctly so we're gonna do NPX Dalai Lama install 7b and we're gonna let it run again all that wasn't so hard was it well we're already ready to actually run our server so let's go npx dali and then this time we're gonna hit serve and we're gonna hit enter if everything worked correctly you should get a screen that says server running on localhost 3000 now if we go ahead and open that i'm gonna go localhost 3000 and then let me actually switch this over here and there we go you can now see that we have this initial window let me actually resize here so we can see that better if it lets me so this is actually our chat gpt or our language model called dali running on our local host so this is running completely on our computer that's what local host is we're not using any web-based servers or web-based functions and from here you can say uh you know what is dali and then we can go over here and click go and it will start running for us now on the uh, right side here on the top right let me make sure you guys can see that no you can't because I am blocking it um, you will see something that says models now this is the other option to install if we had installed 13b then we would see the 13b here as well there's other things like temperature temperature is going to be like the repetitiveness of the words so if you raise the temperature it will raise the unique count also we have repeat penalty so you can raise this if you do not want it to repeat the same words or you want the frequency in which it's allowed to repeat the same word to be raised you want to raise that threshold and then of course we have predict and repeat last you can mess around with these if you want to increase the quantity of the output and then of course we have debug but I don't mess with that at all so we do have some templates here where we can see the default we have a chat bot we have an instruction bot so if we want to spit out instructions like a manual we have that uh, we have a tweet bot or a Twitter bot which will take the sentiment behind a tweet and give an accurate reply to it we also have a translator a rewriter or a paraphrase tool built in and then of course your general dialogue and chat bots as well and it's honestly as easy as that to code your own Dali and Alpaca chat GPT lookalike locally on your own computer. If you enjoyed this video or found it educational, consider subscribing as we're launching tons of free AI training videos every single week. Check out these videos on your screen now if you want a better look at the potential behind AI.